Hello and welcome. This is Murder Mystery Haunted History. If you are new here, we cover both true crime and paranormal. And from time to time, we cover the history of both true crime and paranormal. If that sounds interesting to you, please hit that subscribe button as it does help to throw us out there in the algorithm and help new people to find us. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always being here and supporting us. It truly means the world to us and I love you for it. Thank you. Okay, today is going to be a little bit different than our normal kind of way of doing videos. Today, I'm going to be talking about Tyree Nichols. If you haven't heard of this young man, you're not alone. I just heard of him last night and that is why I'm doing this video. I am angry that I did not know about him sooner and what has happened to him. And I am angry that humans are doing this to other humans. And I want his story to be out there. So we're gonna cover it. And it's a hard one. So hang in there and make it through this, please. Because his story deserves to be told. Okay. Let's get into it. Tyree Nichols was a 29 year old man who, from what his parents and friends have said, loved skateboarding, photography, and was a good kid. I love this picture. It shows a grown man, but a grown man that looks like a kid at heart. I love it. On January 7th, he was traveling home. He was, I believe, about a mile away from home when he was pulled over by the police. When I say pulled over by the Memphis police, I don't mean pulled over as in they pulled up behind him, flashed their lights, and he pulled his car over and they said, can we see your license and registration, please? That's not how this went. He pulled up to a stoplight, the police pulled up behind him and they got out of their cars, they came up to his door, they opened his door, they said, get out, get out, get out. They started screaming at him and he was saying, I, I don't, what did I do, what did I do? Immediately when he sees who, who the officers are, I believe, I could be wrong, but it seems to me as soon as he sees who the police officers are, he seems terrified. They are dragging him from the car. He's telling them he'll do whatever, they, whatever they're telling him to do. He's, he's complying. You know, he's, he's listening to them. He's whatever you want. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. They tell him to get down on the ground. He gets down on the ground. They want him to lay flat, flat on the ground. And he is going to that position, but he's terrified. And he's terrified for good reason. When you watch the video, you can tell there's three or four of them. It's, it's hard to tell how many exactly are on him at this point, but they're being very brutal with him. And you can tell he's trying to decide, am I gonna live through this? You can see it in his eyes. So he he's laying down as they're asking him to, but he's kind of got one shoulder up. To me, it seems like he's almost thinking, if I lay flat, I'm going to die. If I lay like this, I have a chance to run. Contemplating whether to run or whether to stay. And it's because of how brutal they're being with him. They then pepper spray and taser him. He runs. And they do not blame him one bit for running because I think their intention from the very get-go was to hurt this man. So he runs and they try to chase him, but they can't keep chasing him. They run out of breath. They've got pepper spray in their face and the video continues to show the officers getting the pepper spray out of their own faces. Boo-hoo, I don't care. I, I could care less about them and their boo-hooing. I stopped watching that video and I go to the next one. Now these videos were only released on Friday, which is why we really didn't hear about this story or Tyree until Friday. 
because on Friday is when riots began and we heard about the riots which led us to hear about Tyree. But this happened back on January 7th. Keep that in mind. But the videos were released last night. So the next video is a sky view video. It's a camera up on a pole. And it is of two officers holding Tyree down on the concrete. And I believe this is in the vicinity of his mother's house. And we'll get to that in just a second. But I believe he was running home because like I said, he was about a mile from home. So they're holding him down and two officers are holding him down and an officer comes from over on the side, walks up and kicks him twice in the head. Full on, like you're kicking a soccer ball, kicked his head. Another officer walks up, whips out his baton, opens it up. They sit Tyree up and they, the officer smacks him on the back with the baton. Not once. What I saw was at least twice, and then I had to shut the video down. I could not, could not watch anymore. So I move on to the next video. And the next video is police body camera footage of that same spot, on that, where they have him on that same spot. And in this footage, he is screaming for his mother as they are spraying him with pepper spray and beating him some more. He is not fighting at this point. At this point, he is so beaten and so bruised, he can't even move. He is just screaming for his mother. Now, remember I said that I thought he was trying to make it home. I think that where he was may have been close to his mother's home. And I think that he was screaming out, and this is just my thoughts, I think he was screaming out in an attempt to get his mother awake, to, to help him in some way, some shape, some form. I had to stop watching the videos at that point. It was too volatile. It, to think that a human, a group of humans could do this to another human, men that are supposed to be protecting us, and making sure we are safe from bad guys like them could do that to this man. I, I had to stop. The videos are out there if anyone wants to, to watch them, but I, I highly recommend um, not. They're pretty graphic. Um, what goes on to happen is that they place him under arrest and he's having trouble breathing and they take him to the emergency room where he has these severe injuries and he dies three days later. He can't recover from what they've done to him. On January 15th, the police provide an update on the investigation and immediately the police um, investigation leads to the officers being um, taken off of payroll and immediate action being taken against them. On January 18th, a federal investigation is declared. I'm going to pop this picture up right here because I want you to see these men. These are the officers that did this to Tyree. This is Tadarius Bean, Justin Smith, Desmond Mills, Demetrius Haley, and Emmett Martin. These are the men responsible for what they did to Tyree. These are the humans responsible for what was done to Tyree. After the initial investigation, Memphis police identified and fired all five officers. On January 23rd, the family was allowed to view the videos. 
the police camera videos. I can't imagine being his mom. Sorry. I can't imagine being his mom. This beautiful woman right here. And having to hear my son yelling my name, mom. While those horrific things were happening to him. And knowing I couldn't fix it. And those being my final grasp, fight for him. Here's what they had to say after viewing those videos. He was defenseless the entire time. He was a human pinata for those police officers. It was an unadulterated, unabashed, non-stop beating of this young boy for three minutes. That is what we saw in the video. Not only was it violent, it was savage. What I saw on the video today was horrific, Rodney Wells Nichols' stepfather said. No father or mother should have to witness what I saw today. Nichols' mother was unable to get through the viewing. The first minute of the footage after hearing Nichols ask, what did I do? The footage had to be ended for his mother. As a mom, oh, that breaks me. According to preliminary results, the autopsy revealed extensive bleeding caused by the severe beating is the cause of death at this point, and that's just the preliminary, preliminary I can't pronounce that word, um, result. So there'll be more to come on the autopsy. It says, while each of the individuals played a different role in the incident in question, the actions of all of them resulted in the death of Tyree Nichols, and all are responsible. All five former officers reported to Shelby County Jail on Thursday, with four bonding out by early Friday morning. I think it's important to also talk about where Memphis Police Chief Carolyn C.J. Davis stands with all of this. She said, this is not a professional failing. This is a failing of basic humanity towards another individual. This incident was heinous, reckless, and inhumane. And in the vein of transparency, when the video is released in the coming days, you will see this for yourself. So it's not like the Memphis Police Department is hiding anything. They are very transparent in saying that what happened is disgusting and we are gonna charge them, we're trying to figure it out, um, which is good. Um, in all honesty, I find that good that the Memphis Police Department is not trying to hide a damn thing. Um, I hope my hope is that this leads to a deep investigation into the Memphis Police Department to find out if there are more officers that are dirty. Because here is my theory, and this is my theory alone, but from what the news and many media outlets have discovered so far is that Tyree Nichols had no criminal background. They cannot find a single thing that this man would have been linked to the police with. Nothing. So it's not like he had some bad history with the police in any way, shape, or form that can be found so far. Okay. So with that being said, in the beginning, I talked about the fear that he had in his eyes when he saw the officers that were there pulling him out of his car. Here's what I kind of think might have happened. And this is just, again, my theory, and we'll see as this investigation moves forward. But I think maybe Tyree saw something that he wasn't supposed to see. And whether he saw that and reported it, or he saw that and they were afraid he was going to report it, I think they went after him to scare him, and they went too far. 
I think that there are a group of police officers and not just these ones that are arrested. I think there are probably more within the Memphis Police Department that are dirty. And I think that the Memphis Police Department needs to figure that out. And I hope that this leads to figuring that out. I also think this because the captain has said in um, additional articles that the reason for the, the initial stop was not even legit from the videos that she watched, that the, the pulling him over was not even a legit reason to pull him over. So it looks like he was targeted for being pulled over. And again, if he had no criminal history and he had no problems with the police, why? So I wanted to cover this story, like I said, to bring awareness to Tyree Nichols and who he was. He was loved by many. He was a photographer and he was a mama's boy and he was a good kid and he didn't deserve this. And I wanted to talk about how we can't even feel safe with the people that are supposed to be protecting us at this point and how scary that is. And I wanted to talk about why we didn't hear about this until the riots started, why the riots became national news, but not Tyree himself when this happened back on January 7th. I have all these questions and all these feelings and I thought just making this video might help me get these questions and feelings at least off my chest and out there and may make me feel like I'm doing at least a little of something by sharing his story. And I hope that I've given you at least a glimpse into who Tyree was as a person. And if you can, please cover his family, his loved ones, his friends in prayer as they deal with the loss of this incredible human being. With that being said, I'm interested to hear your thoughts. Please be kind and loving and please do not take this political or racial in the comment section. That's not what this is about. These are humans, period, end of story. And I'd like to discuss it just like that as human beings, okay? All right, wishing you all much kindness and much love. Please keep them in your prayers. Be safe. Bye for now.